I started this ritual as a chore, but now after eight years, I see this moment as a self care for myself. When kids are small, there's no me time. I was constantly chased by wiping off the spill on the floor, picking up miscellaneous tissue paper while carrying the baby in my left arm. So, just dedicating my time for cooking was like a meditation to me. Now they are more independent, so I have more time, but still, that habit is part of my life. And I'm glad that it has become my lifelong habit. In the last video, I shared a concept called totono u in Japanese. The direct translation is organized or set in order. Making Japanese breakfast every day plays a crucial role in my totono life. Do you do anything for your totono life? Please share that in the comment section. あとちょっとでご飯だからさ、ちょっと宿題やっちゃって。下敷き引いてる?オッケーオッケー、ナイス。あとね、10分ぐらいでご飯かな。うんと。<laughs> Another ritual allowing me to have a totono life is meal prepping. I made this pickle yesterday, which was part of my meal prepping. This morning, all I have to do is to wash off the marinade and serve it on the plate. This takes me three minutes in the morning. で、ピザみたい。ピザみたい。おお、いい感じ。なんかやっぱいいよね。炊飯器で炊くのとする。おお。うん、美味しそう。うん。これぐらいかけよ。熱いよ、鍋すごく。気をつけて。うん。美味しそう。ご飯。おつけすごい汚いわ。続けなきゃ。結構食べるでしょ。好きな分だけ寄せていいよ。
後半にあげた後ね。うん、いいよ。いただきます。いただきます。なんで怒って。あ、うま。ちょっとだけ、鰹節を混ぜた。うまい。あいて。無言で食べるでも子供たちは無言で食べるよね、基本、うんうん、食べてるってことは美味しいってことなので、今回は、ハートのパスタを作ってみてください。今回は、ハートのパスタを作ってみてください。今回は、ハートのパスタを作ってみてください。今回は、ハートのパスタを作ってみてください。今回は、ハートのパスタを作ってみてください。今回は、ハートのパスタを作ってみてください。Not only will you learn from the video, but also you will have the real people supporting you in an exclusive community. If you are interested, the link is in the description box. Thanks a lot for watching. Mata ne!